Hey everybody, so today I decided I was going to try a different flavor of these pierogies. Um, I'm going to try the classic onion one, um, and I am going to be preparing it in my Ninja Foodie here. Um, so, as you can see, back here you have a few different options as far as cooking them. Um, I'm going to use the uh, bake um, option for cooking um, on the back here. Um, it does say to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and air fry. And I'm going to just leave it there at 390, and I'm going to let it preheat for five minutes. Alright, so it's been five minutes, so I just went ahead and put these um, pierogies in here. Uh, so the next step is obviously you're just going to close the lid here. And your timer should start counting down again. On the back of your directions here, it does say um, to cook them for 18 to 20 minutes, um, turning halfway through. So I'm actually going to raise the time limit here to 18. Oh, sorry. All right. So now I'm going to start at 18 minutes. So here in nine minutes, I will get them out and give them a shake. All right. So it's been about nine minutes here. So I went ahead and gave those a nice little shake. Um, with pot holders, of course, because it's really hot. So I'm going to go ahead and close the lid. And they're going to go ahead and finish cooking for another nine minutes. And so I'll be back then. All right, everybody. So the foodie went ahead and turned itself off once the remaining nine minutes were up. So I'm just going to get these out and let them cool down for just a little bit before I give you an up close and personal sample. All right, so it's been a couple minutes and these have cooled down a little bit. I just wanted to give you a little peek on the inside. Um, I'm surprised they're not, they don't have a ton of like really strong onion flavor, but they're actually really, really delicious. So here are some onion frozen pierogies for you.